We're here today at the Twin Fountains RV Resort in Oklahoma City. So far on this trip, it's our absolute favorite RV campground that we've stayed at. What do you think? I find it personally exciting due to the putt-putt golf center they have, the swimming pool, hot tub for those traveling with kids is an added bonus. Plus, they offer a free limo shuttle ride to and from the Oklahoma City Zoo and Science Center. And did you mention the playground? I didn't mention the playground. All right, well, we can talk about it all day long, but let's show it to you. So some of the other amenities that they offer here include laundry, if you need to do your laundry, a propane refilling station if you want to fill up your tanks, showers, a catch and release fishing pond, sounds a little bit like your youth, <laughs> a storm shelter, after all, you are in Oklahoma, could be tornado time any time of the year. And then each campground has its own patio and a fire pit as well. But then there's also a convenience store. And of course, every site that we've seen at least was a pull through with 50 amp service and full like septic and water service at your sites as well. And then of course, in addition to that, as Cassandra mentioned, there's a miniature golf course, a full fledged miniature golf course right behind the main building. One of my favorites is the morning trash pickup where I'm not having to wander around looking for our dumpster. There's also a light-up pavilion with grills in case you didn't bring your own. There's large bathroom facility, full hiccups, and big rig friendly. There's a swimming pool which also has a hot tub for the parents who need a nice soak after a long drive. But for the kiddos, they offer a splash pad. There's also the Simplify Bar and Grill which opens at 5 p.m. with, you know, everyday Oklahoma food fair. It's a gated facility with a fitness center as well. What exactly is everyday Oklahoma food fair, I wonder? <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's take a look at the menu real quick. So now we've gone through all of the amenities. We've showed you the park. You know how pretty it is here. You know they've got lots of great features and amenities. I'm going to share with you my three beefs because I am a little picky and there are three things about this campground that I'm not crazy about. The first is the Wi-Fi. These days, almost every RV campground does offer some sort of Wi-Fi, but some are definitely better than others. The campground we were at before this one only offered 2G service. I don't know what you can do with that, not much. The Wi-Fi here on our first night, we stayed here two nights, the Wi-Fi was really good on that first night. We could stream, we could get on our laptops, the big girls could do their schoolwork. It was perfect. But then that evening, it got really spotty and inconsistent. Sometimes it wasn't on at all. And then the very next day, it barely worked at all. It was deathly slow. So that's my number one beef. Have good Wi-Fi service. Our RV is parked fairly close to the main headquarters. I'm assuming that's where their router is. These days, there's no excuse for campgrounds to not have probably multiple routers throughout the campground offering full stream service Wi-Fi. That way you can get on whatever device you want to get on. That's just the world we live in today, and there's not really an excuse not to offer that. The next beef is the fact that you couldn't make reservations online. You had to call them. This isn't 1998. There's no excuse for a website not to be able to allow you to book your, your campground right then and there. However, you will find as you look around RV campgrounds, that's not that uncommon, unfortunately. Most RV campgrounds have websites that look like they were built in the days of AOL. So unfortunately, this campground is not unique in that regards. The last thing that I want to mention is the fact that the hot tub is not open. 
They closed the pool in the hot tub, I believe it said September 1st, for the season. The pool I can understand if it's not heated. You don't want to swim in November in a cold pool. But the hot tub, there's not really an excuse to not have that open all year. And I suspect it just comes down to a little bit of laziness on the part of the people who maintain it. But those are my three beefs. In no way would that prevent me from wanting to stay here again, would it you? No, and definitely don't let that discourage you. The customer service here has been stellar and outstanding, which is what we look for when traveling. We would like to have happy, friendly people to help navigate us through their city. And another added bonus, there's a salon, and not just for your puppies, but for husbands and wives and children too. <laughs> I guess I could use a little trim. <laughs> Anyway, we will definitely be staying here again, and we recommend that you do as well anytime your travels in your RV take you to Oklahoma City, and they should. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button and the bell notification button too. That way you find out of the next video that we put out. But with that, we'll see you in the next video.